What is going on everybody? My name is Ethan and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. This is a Marvel Contest of Champions. Now what this video is going to be is, it's going to be a sort of like a guide, a sort of, you know, a video that you can follow through. And it's basically going to just be like giving you the tips and tricks on how you can build your roster, your in-game team in Marvel Contest of Champions. Now I'm going to try and do this from my perspective, so I'm going to tell you all the things that I did wrong. So that uh, if you're new to the game, that you're not going to make any of these same mistakes. I'm going to be going through this video uh, through the eyes of a free-to-play player. Uh, that means that someone who wants to play this game but doesn't want to really invest that much money. Uh, they can go into it knowing that, okay, uh, I can sort of, you know, I can still do this. I don't have to pay money in order to get loads of units, to get loads of crystals, to get, you know, champions, etc. So... That is what I'm going into with this video. It's going to be sort of like a rough sort of guide. Uh, there may be a part two. Depends on how long this one takes. But uh, let's get right into it. Right, so the first thing, we're not going to go into fight actually. I'm going to show you my champions. And the reason why I'm going to do this, and I'm going to order it this way. There we go. I'm going to order it like that. Actually, no way, I will order it like this. It'll be easier to show you. So, as you can see, I've got a lot of champions. If I just scroll through, I've got a lot of two stars. I think I've got all the two stars in the game. Uh, I've got quite a few three stars. I don't think I've got every three star, unfortunately. And uh, I've got quite a few maxed out. And then I've got about 21 uh, four stars. And I've got about two five stars. So, the reason why I'm showing you this is because... I don't want to click on Captain Marvel. So, the reason I'm showing you this is because having your champions... Uh, every single one of your champions will contribute in some w uh, way or manner. For me, the one stars, the two stars, and pretty much all the three stars, except when it comes to arena, the only contribution that they have is to boost my overall base rating player. Uh, player, my base hero rating, my bad. Uh, and mine is 112,000 points. So that is all. As you see the numbers under here, say for example, Colossus is 316, Hulk is 312, blah de blah de blah. All of those added up will equal my total hero base rating. And your hero base rating is <clears throat> somewhat of uh, an acknowledgement. If someone's new to the game, you can see they'll see they have like a low sort of rating. However, the more advanced players can easily go into the 200,000s all the way up to 400,000, 600, I think is. I think it's 4,000, no, 460,000. I think someone is at the top with that score. So, by increasing your total base rating player, uh, your total hero base rating. Sorry, my bad. It's been a while since I made a video, so I've just got to try and get back into the flow of things. Um, so by having that as high as you can possibly get it, always want to be trying to rank up and level up your champions as much as you can. Because when it comes to joining alliances, a lot of alliances will put in global chat that you need to be either, you know, third, you know, they'll be like looking for active players, 30k plus or or 20k or they'll go from 60 to 100 and such and such they'll get higher depending on the alliance and what the average rating of that alliance member is they'll try and look for someone a little bit similar so if you want to get into a pretty good alliance and start reaping in those rewards from the events every week my advice would be is to just try and rank up level up as much uh, champions as you can and try and get that hero base rating um, as high as possible because then in turn as I said you join alliance you'll get loads of and uh, you get all the events done and all those rewards from the events they really really do play out guys you get so many P premium hero crystal shards i'm going to call them phc it's just easier and quicker to say uh i'm going to call it yeah so you get a lot of phc uh, shards you get a lot of catalysts you get a lot of gold um you get a lot of other shards as well for three stars and four stars including those that are found in some advancements and you get the five star shards as well so it really does play well in order to try and just increase your total hero base rating and one thing that i did when i started off this game is all my one stars and when i started getting two stars etc that i weren't using i was like oh you know what i'm not using them i'm just going to sell them i can get myself a couple of gold i can get myself some some iso and uh, i don't think the shards were out yet for the crystal so i can't remember if there was anything else or if it was just that but i sold a lot of my one stars and two stars and to be honest, I really regret that. Um, I know the one stars, you can't duplicate them. But however, having them maxed out, that is just, how many got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's about, six times three, that's about 1,800 just from the one stars. And they're pretty easy just to rank up. So 
my advice to be is to not sell your champions guys i know a lot of people sort of urge to all that way and be like oh you know what if i just sell this one i might i'll get another uh, some shards to you know afford myself a three star or whatever um but if you're selling like a duplicate champion for example it will take you a while unless you're really lucky it will take you a while to get back to that signature level of that champion and in honesty guys it's just not worth it you'd rather have the champion that's got a you know say for example you got a I don't know signature level 30 or something every time you do play that champion you'll be getting the shards for the next tier crystal up anyways so if i duplicate a two star i'll be getting shards for a three star crystal so and it in turn it just plays out better it's better rewards in the long run i know in the short run it might seem better just to sell your champions but i can't stress enough to probably just not do it guys don't give in to the temptation um, you are far better to just keep your champions and keep doing duplications because the more duplications you get the higher the champion's signature ability is increased and therefore in turn makes them a little bit more powerful and uh, will increase their overall pi rating as well say for example if i was to dupe that punisher that will go up from 652 to something else it might go up to 654 or 5 or something like that so that is my first point is to not sell your champions now when you start out in the game the first couple of days i think the game is a little bit generous with you it gives you a couple of crystals you can open up it gives you uh, like a one star champ it gives you like a two star etc but um it depends how lucky you are because with me when i opened up i got uh, a three star and that three star was gamora that was my first three star champion and today is the first champion i ever got to signature level 99 so you can imagine her assassination is pretty darn sweet so it all depends i think a lot of people new to the game now i think they've changed it so that a lot of people will get like a four star champion or something like that so it's really you know really useful um and you'll get that four star champion and that will carry you through for a while so you can have all these two stars you can have all the one stars etc just don't rank don't you know sell them just try and rank them up because they'll prove useful later in the long run in the arena as well and uh, we'll get to it in a bit we're going to go back into uh hit this little section here now if you're new to the game this might look a little bit confusing you might say like oh what is going on etc so we've got the story quest we've got event quests, we've got the verses which is the arenas then we've got the alliance stuff which is the alliance quests and the alliance wars if you're new to the game i would probably recommend you jump into the story uh the story is pretty simple and pretty straightforward uh you've got act one act two act three and act four and they all get harder and harder act one is mainly for those that have got you know built up a, a good decent amount of two stars maybe a couple of one stars but if you pulled a couple of three stars you will breeze through act one with no problem act two is more geared towards those that have got a couple of max two stars probably about two and the rest of them are going to be three stars, probably ranking from about rank two to rank three. And obviously rank four will then, uh, it jumps a little bit. Uh, I think the game sort of expects you to have about at least one four star and all the rest three stars. Uh, I did act three with all three stars. Uh, I had my Gamora of Assassination. I had a couple of others. I can't remember, but I remember that my Gamora just carried me through from act one to act three. So that was pretty useful that I got her and duped her pretty a lot due, um, thanks to the daily crystals as well. So, my advice to you, these are story quests, and it, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think they are going to be going, they're not going to be, you know, scrapped or whatever, because they are part of the game, they are part of the story, and they are going to be around, guys. So, there's no rush, um, yeah, there's no rush, you know, to go through them, you can take your time, take your leisure, treat the story quests as sort of like a playground, um, you can get used to the champion's uh, moves, you can get used to all their moves, you can get used to all their special attacks, you can get used to all of their abilities, such as, you know, evade. Um, I think, you know, some champions have a ability in which they can crit higher, there's unstoppable. So there's there's a lot, there's nullify, there's, there's loads of them. So my advice would be for any new players coming into Marvel Contest at Champions, would be to just slowly go through Act 1, the contest, take out your own leisure there are pretty decent rewards for a new player i mean completion just for completing not 100 percent you get yourself a premium hero crystal and then for 100 percent you get a three star crystal so there are a lot of opportunities and then you get loads of iso 8 for completing and exploring the chapters so there's a lot of you know decent rewards for what is a pretty easy and straightforward uh story act act two 
starts giving you some better rewards. You've got the, what do you call You've got two three-star hero crystals and all the rest. And then just some higher tier ISO, which is pretty nice. And then Act 3, you get a three-star and a four-star. And then I think these are still ISO. They are indeed. Yeah, so they're all still higher tier ISO. And then if you get on to Act 4, that's where all the catalysts, you know, you've got the shards, you've got the awakening you got the signature stones and the alpha catalysts and what's that the tier 4 class catalyst so there are quite some decent good rewards but for my advice would be don't rush into the story they're not going to go anywhere so just take your time learn the game using it it doesn't matter if you fail or you know if all your champions die just start again i mean pretty much every single person myself included at one point has gone on and just all of my champions have died because i've taken like a too hard of a of a line or a path or whatever so my advice would be just take what you can just go down if path looks easy and simple enough go ahead and do it it will boost your confidence you'll get more used to the game and then with that you'll be able to then push on and then start doing those more difficult paths that are in the in the acts and the chapters so with the story quest done and you've done a couple of them you can either choose to go on to like start doing versus stuff or if you're more towards trying to rank up your champions and trying to get some of those catalysts they are found in event quests now, event quests are pretty sweet. Uh, you get, um, at the moment, there is uh, two event quests going on. There's Chloe's Warriors of Awesomeness 2, and there's a Terra Genocide Terminus. Um, they are... Oh, let me let me say it again. Okay, so the the mutant one... Sorry, my, I just literally lost my train of thought. So the mutant one, the Terra Genocide Terminus, uh, it has different stages of difficulty. So if you are new... To the game you can go ahead and do it it's not going to be too hard because you can select the difficulty that will be best suited for you and uh, they've got some pretty decent rewards you know beginner you've got your premium hero crystal shards you've got some catalysts there and then um, you've got more shards for completing and exploring all of the three chapters you've gone to normal you've got some more you've got some more higher tier rewards you've got 2000 phc shards you've got some three star shards and you also got like a three star champion as well. They seem to be doing that where that's the norm now. Where normal will award you with a three star hero. So you have to be some level 12. And obviously the recommended team rating is at the top there. If you've got a recommended team. that's Sorry. If you've got a team rating that's above 3,500. You will blow through this. And then within no time you'll be adding another champion to your roster. And there'll be a three star, three star champion at that as well. So it's pretty sweet. And then once you've done and you're comfortable in normal, you can go on to heroic and then you can start going on to master, which is pretty hard. I mean, I'm on master. I think I'm only just on the first chapter. Um, I haven't really just, I thought I've, I do heroic and then I'm like, okay, that's enough rewards. I'll just do it at my own leisure. So when you want to go ahead and start ranking up and leveling your champions, this is where you also want to come as well. You've got the daily quest, the proving grounds, and then you've got also the daily quest, which is like the class uh, catalyst as well so if you go into the proving grounds we've got easy medium and hard they all represent different tiers of catalysts you've got tier one tier two and tier three tier ones are mainly used for i believe it is uh one star champions and two star champions i don't think perhaps uh three star champions need it i think three star champions take two uh tier two and tier three and then obviously then you've got the uh, the four star champions that would take tier three and tier four and so on. So there is that. Uh, they refresh daily. So once you've 100%, you can just wait till the next day. I think it's roughly about 9 a.m. Uh, British time. I'm not quite sure about uh, America or anywhere else overseas. But they reset. So you can have a crack at them every single day if you want. And uh, stock up on those catalysts. And it's a really, really good way to get the catalyst fast and start upgrading your team. It's a really good source of experience as well, and uh, and a little bit of gold as well, so it's not too bad. And then obviously next to it is the class catalyst. It's exactly the same as the proving grounds, however the catalyst rewards are class specific. So if you've got, for example, we'll use what we've got at the moment, a cosmic, say if you've got a Thor, and you need to rank him up from rank 2 to rank 3, you'll need some class catalyst, so that would be, I'm pretty sure it might be, the tier two so if you need the tier two ones you go ahead and you click on you know medium one you go through that and uh, you should be getting yourself some tier two cosmic catalysts in no time and the only difference with this one uh, is that with the, with the class catalyst my bad is that every single day it changes so on Mondays it's mutant classes on Tuesday it's the skill classes on Wednesday it's the science Thursday it's the mystic Friday is the cosmic 
Saturday is the tech and then Sunday you've got a little bit of a free for all so if you go through it um, you never know what you're going to get I think there's alphas in there I think and then obviously then there's going to be uh, catalyst fragments and you've got catalysts themselves so it's pretty much like a free for all go in there see what you get and if you're lucky, you might get something good. If not, you get something bad. That's the way the game works. And then you've got your Road of Labyrinth. You've got your Labyrinth of Legends and your Realm of Legends. Which, if you are new to the game, then uh, I wouldn't worry about this just yet. Because it is extremely hard. And I didn't want to click on that. So they are meant for sort of like, you know, the end tier players. So with that and ranking and leveling topic sort of covered now... Uh, some of you might head towards that direction, some of you might head towards going to the arena, they might think, oh sweet, you know, arenas, pretty nice. Uh, arenas are definitely worthwhile, I would definitely recommend doing arenas. I myself, even though I am level 50, uh, when I said earlier about keeping your 2 stars, because they really come into play, they really do. Whenever there's a 3 star champion that I want to get, um, and I don't want to run the risk of not getting it in the 4 star featured, um, so that means getting the 3 star and the 4 star basic. I always play it safe and go in the three star featured hero arena and that is where my um, what do you call it my two star champions sorry <laughs> that's where my two star champions come into effect and I've got all them champions all them signature abilities they're all maxed and they really do provide me with a lot of points I mean it's not even been uh, 24 hours or something and uh, at my stage in the game I need to get about 470,000 points in order to get the featured hero. That does vary from time to time on how popular the hero is. So I might go a little bit higher, might go a little bit lower, it all depends. But as you can see, it's not even mid 24 hours and I'm already past halfway. So it is really useful in order to max those uh, two star champions. And then obviously then the mastery is playing effect as well, but we'll cover that in a different topic on a different video. And then um, <clears throat> once you've started racking up those three stars, you can then start going into the four star featured hero arena as well. And then you can start trying going for the four star basics and the three star featured heroes as well. As you can see, if you're not really quite sh sure, if you're not really quite clear on what I mean by that, uh, you get the four star featured hero, which is for rank one to 400. Then the top 1% and 5% get the three star featured of the three star of that featured hero. And they also get a four star basic hero. In this case, it will be Wolverine X23. So. The arena is a really, really useful way if you want to be able to get uh, new champions pretty quickly without having to open up crystals. Uh, each arena does last for about two and a half days, three days. So it's really useful. And in turn, you get uh, battle chips as well, which is used to purchase what I think is the best crystal in the game, which is the arena crystal. It gives you gold, it gives you units, it gives you ISO 8, and it gives you a chance to acquire a three-star punisher or a four-star punisher. So it's really nice. So with that done, you know, you should be getting on to, what do you call it, you should be racking up through three stars, etc. And uh, just in time in that game, you should be, you know, ranking up your hero base rating. You'll start getting those four star shards, you'll start getting those five star shards, you'll start getting more and more crystals. They'll just come easier. It will be a struggle in the game at first because the game is sort of, you're sort of you know, made to be a bit of a grind. And if you're not willing to pay, um, then you will, you know, have to put in the work. The only purchase i think i made for this game is when i first had this and when i first downloaded it there was an offer for a beginner i think it's still going on for those that are beginning to the game that uh, you can purchase a three star deadpool uh, i think it's for like 15 pounds or something like that and the only reason why i bought that is because every year there is an arena that is ran that is only exclusive to those who have a three star deadpool i believe um i don't know if it's changed now i think it happens once every february i think so is coming soon and uh, that the rewards in that arena give you roughly two star deadpools they give you three star deadpools and obviously in the rank rewards uh, range from like a four star deadpool as well so that's how i've managed to dupe my deadpool and got two star deadpools as well so <clears throat> that is the only reason why I, I have bought that and that is the only thing i think i have bought anyways all the units that you see i've got 1011 i have gained from either completing story quests event quests or getting them in the arena crystals so sorry i digress i got sort of, i think i was no i was making the point of saying that you don't need to actually pay in this game um only if you want to but this guide is more geared towards those who don't want to really pay uh 
So once that's all done, you know, and you're racking up a through, a through like uh, two star heroes and a few three star heroes, you'll start getting the four stars. And before you know it, you'll start getting more and more four stars and four stars. Um, when I started playing this game, I was literally on and off for quite a while, to be fair. Um, and it was only pretty recently in the last, let's say, four months that I've really actually knuckled down and started playing this. And that's when I've boosted my hero rating. That has gone up, you know, exponentially. And I've got so many four stars. I would have more. But um, say, for example, I think I've got 21. I would have 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27... I would have 30 uh, four-star champions, but they would be unduped. So I've acquired seven more, but they've duped. Electro is only one duped. My Doctor Strange, funny enough, is signature level 60. I have duped this guy three times. Um, and still, I would prefer a Scarlet Witch. But hey-ho, we can't be picky. Although Scarlet Witch is so much better than Doctor Strange, in my, in my opinion. I would gladly tr uh, trade a Doctor Strange and probably another character for a four-star duped Scarlet Witch. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, so once you get doing, go use all those tips. Go through the game at your own pace. Don't try and rush things. Um, use, as I said, use a story uh, quest as a sort of playground to get used to the game. And before you know it, you're going to be getting loads of champions. Uh, with the three-star champions, try and max them out if you can because then that will prove really good points in the arena. And what else? Is there anything else that I'm missing? Oh, in terms of the arena, if you're a beginner, you are put in separate brackets than those that have been playing the game for longer. So if you really want to and you've got a few decent champions, um, I would probably recommend if you've got the time, go for the arena and try and get the four star or the three star. Uh, chances are you will probably get it if you put the time and effort into it. Because I believe if you start, I think it's like from a month to two months, you're in one bracket. And then from like two months to five, I think you're in like another. And from five onwards, you have to earn what everyone else, uh, what the average um, score is. So say for example, for that two star or the three star featured hero, for me, it might, I have to earn about, probably about 470k. But for someone that's new, they might only have to do about 100 or something like that. Because where the champions are lower leveled, etc, it might be harder. So that's how they've tried to balance out the game. But, you know, if you're feeling up to the arena, give it a crack. Why not? See what happens. You might get lucky. And uh, it is a really useful way to get some champions. So, with that said and done, I think that is going to be that for the video. If you guys have any questions about any topics or if there's anything that I haven't answered, just write down in the comments below. And uh, I will make sure to always reply to you and um, give you some knowledge and some insight into the game if you are struggling or anything. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it has helped a lot of beginners in terms of where do they start, what can they do, um, how to get some heroes, etc. Um, it's, this is based on what my experience was. So I've tried to give you, you know, little tips and tricks and try not to take, make the same mistakes that I did in terms of like selling my champions. Because I really do regret that because I would have much higher champions than what I did right now. So there's that guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like. It's very, very much appreciative. And I will see you in the next video guys. So take care. Have a wonderful day. And thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.